Good morning. We're journeying this week and in these weeks, discovering again what our vision and purpose is as a faith community. Our vision is that we are to be a place where people can belong and people can grow. Our mission is to be a people of peace, helping others to discover how they can have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. But peace for us is also an acronym, an acronym which speaks of how we can grow in whole, in, in the whole man, to be the spiritual man that God would have us to be. P is for prayer. E is for education. A is for awareness. C is for caring. And E is for being an example. Last week, we talked about how God wants us to be a people who would learn his word, study to show yourself approved, a workman rightly dividing the word of truth, as Paul would write to Timothy. And so we talked about how God wants to wants us to learn, know him. And that whole idea of knowing him is not just being understanding words or concepts but actually knowing him, walking with him, engaging with him, learning from him. The word to know many places in the New Testament is a word which means epinosis, knowledge which is gained through experience. And this week we want to look at A for awareness, being aware of who God is and what God's plans and purposes for us is. And being aware means we have to have a an active relationship with God, the Holy Spirit, because he's the one that leads us and guides us. We have a beautiful verse of scripture in Isaiah 30, 21. And your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. And when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, your own ears will hear him. Behind you, a voice will say, this is the way you should go, whether to the right or to the left. Awareness. It is so important that we are a people who are aware of where God the Holy Spirit would have us go. He needs to direct our path. He's the one that gives us the inspiration and the knowledge to to do the things that are right. He is wisdom from above. Pure, holy, peaceful, easy to be entreated. God the Holy Spirit wants to work in us his will and his way. Think of what Paul says in Second Corinthians. He says, even though our outer man wastes away, our inner man is being renewed day by day until that day when we shall see Jesus. And him who is renewing us is God the Holy Spirit, and we need to be aware of him and his presence as he would lead us and guide us. We need to be aware of what God is doing in the world around us. Redeeming the time is another thing that Paul teaches us. I think of a of one of the tribes of Israel. In their day, they learned how to redeem the time, to walk in a circumspect way with God. They were men and they were men and women who would seek God on a daily basis to know what his will was. And those are things that we need to do on a daily basis. We can never underestimate God's desire to walk with us on a daily basis. We need to be aware of what is, what is currently touching the heart and lives of men and women today. And we can't be complacent 
in saying, well, what happened last year is good enough for me. You know, God, God, God doesn't do that. He works with each individual, with each group of individuals, with each segment of, of, of society differently. And we need to be aware of what he is doing and what he is seeing. We need to allow him to speak to us in a very uh, def definitive way. We need to be intentional in our seeking him and being uh, made aware of where we need to be going and how we need to be going. God the Holy Spirit will do all of these things for us. We realize that we need to be aware of the times in which we live. And we need to be so cognizant of what God is doing. There is nothing that is happening on the earth today that God's not aware of it. And we need to be aware of what he's aware of and how he is working to see his hand at work. And not allow ourselves to become despondent or morose, but rather to be joyful of people who know their God and are strong to do exploits. We need to realize that we need to be so aware of God's love for us and God's compassion for us, how he wants to work in us his will and his way and his purpose. My prayer for you is that you would be a people who would have a living personal relationship with God the Holy Spirit in a manner that you would know him and be able to hear his still small voice as he would direct your path. That's how it is throughout scripture. God always does the directing. And we need to follow him close to him. Now, there's another part of this portion of this vision mission statement is the C for caring. We need to be a caring people, not just a being aware spiritually, but also to be a caring people. People who would empathize and sympathize with those in need. People who would walk the extra mile, people who would help carry the load of those whose burdens are too heavy for them, people who would pray unceasingly so that those who need a touch from God would, would have that need realized in their lives. We need to be a caring people, people who show forth love and compassion, just as Jesus did to touch the leper, to touch the, the blind, to touch the lame, to touch those who uh, are despondent, those who even oppose themselves. We need to reach out with a hand of caring and touch. It's not just about feeding the hungry and the poor and the needy. It's also about reaching out to those who are spiritually poor, spiritually hungry, spiritually destitute. We need to reach out to the whole man, regardless of their station in life. We need to be a caring people, having at heart their very best, as God has our very best at heart. God wants to see them prosper as we prosper. God wants to see them healed as we are healed. God wants to see them forgiven as we are forgiven. And so we need to carry a message to them. And that's where caring and awareness comes into play. We need to be aware of what God is doing. And we need to show forth the care that God has for each individual. My prayer this, this morning is just that we would be a people who allow God the Holy Spirit to make us aware of those around us so that we could be caring and show forth God's purpose and plan, not only for our lives, but for their lives as well. 
Because God has a plan for each one of us. It's a very unique plan. It's to form Christ in and through us uniquely, individually, but also corporately because we need to be together as the body of Christ so that Jesus may be seen in the world around us. That's God's plan and purpose for us. That's why we want to be a people of peace. We want to be a, a place where you can belong and you can become all that God has for you. And may I encourage you to walk with Christ. When you hear that still small voice, do it. So when you think of somebody today or this week and you think, boy, I haven't seen them in a while or I haven't talked to them, take time, follow through on those things. Maybe you need to send a, a little note, a cheery note. Maybe you need to bring that plate of cookies or that word of encouragement. Maybe you just need to to allow your presence to be their gift this week. Come and sit with them. Not chat at them, not speak at them, but just to sit with them. Let your presence be a, a joy for them. It's so good that we can do these things. We can be God's hands, God's feet, extended to those around us. May I encourage you this week to be all that God has called you to be, to be aware, to be awake. I don't know how many times God tells us, awake thou sluggard from thy sleep. Oh my goodness, we need to be a people of awake. Remember, we are children of light, not of darkness. And we walk in the light because we can see. So allow the God, the Holy Spirit to be that light on your path today in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord bless you.